Facebook custom conversions. When you're doing any sort of marketing activity or especially advertising, it is so important to know if what you're spending is giving you a return on investment. With Facebook ads, it's so easy to see if you are making a return on investment through their custom conversions. So I'm gonna jump into the video and show you how you can set those up. I'm going to show you how you can create a custom conversion in Facebook. So first of all, when you're in your Facebook ads manager, you want to click up here on the menu and you can see under measure and report, you've got custom conversions. So when you click on that, it takes you to this screen. Now, before you can actually create a custom conversion, you need to have your Facebook pixel created. So to do that, you go over to pixels under assets. And if you've not already created a pixel, there'll be a button here that invites you to create that. Now what you've got to go do is put that pixel and install it onto your website. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but I do have other videos on my channel. I'll put the link in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube and you can go ahead and find out how to install your pixel there. But once your pixel is installed, you can head over onto custom conversions where we were before. Now a custom conversion basically allows you to track and see specific kind of actions that people are taking on your website and you can see how much it's costing you for someone to take that action. So if we click on create custom conversions here, you can see the pixel, your pixel name will be there and we basically create a rule. So we want a, we have to determine what a conversion is going to be. Now typically a conversion will be something like somebody signing up to a program or somebody um, entering their email address in return for your lead magnet, so signing up for something. So what you want to do to measure that is basically click here and to change that to URL contains. And what you'll typically do is enter your thank you page in here. So it might be something like bluecliffmedia.com thank you. Now, for my kind of funnel, what, what would happen is I would send somebody to a landing page. It might be something like bluecliffmedia.com forward slash course. When somebody then signs up to that course, they automatically get redirected to bluecliffmedia forward slash thank you. So I know if anybody ever lands on bluecliffmedia.com forward slash thank you, they have converted from that course that, that I sent them to originally. So if we can imagine we're setting up a Facebook ad campaign, sending people to bluecliffmedia.com forward slash course. When somebody signs up to that course, they get redirected to bluecliffmedia.com forward slash thank you. Now what I'm doing here is creating a rule that basically says when somebody lands on bluecliffmedia.com forward slash thank you, that is a conversion. So we choose a category here. Um, you've got various different categories depending on whether it's somebody's purchasing something from you. So again, if you're if you're selling something, you might put the the conversion might be something like your URL forward slash <coughs> pardon me um, complete. So if somebody's completed an order, for example, and so you choose what you want it to be here. So in my case, this would just be a lead. Then you click next. You name your conversion. So someone has signed up to my email course. If it's a product that you're selling with a with a price, you can set a conversion value. So you could say it's fourteen ninety nine, for example, and that way you can track how much money you've actually earned from that conversion. But if it's somebody just signing up to your email list, you don't need to set a conversion value. Then you simply click click on create, and you've created that custom conversion. Now, when you go into create an advert, so we choose the increased conversions on your website objective then when we go here to the targeting page you can see here conversion at the top and that that conversion that i just created someone has signed up to my email course we click on that and that is that so when that campaign runs you'll be able to see how many people have actually converted and how much it's cost you per conversion so that's how you set up a custom conversion on facebook if you've got any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below um, I've also got a Facebook advertising blueprint, which is a really good formula that we use for our, my business, myself and all our clients on how to make Facebook ads that convert. So thank you very much for watching again and we'll see you in the next video.